Tarantula man, tarantula man, does whatever a tarantula can. Eats a rat, poops on bird, this whole song is so absurd. Look out, it's the tarantula man. All right, everybody, if you haven't guessed, today we are taking a look at Transformers Legacy Tarantulas. And with the release of our favorite Spider Boy, we have the original five Predacons in toy form. Now, yes, I realize that this is not the Golden Disc Pterosaur. This is the original toy mold Pterosaur, but I like this figure better. It's just a personal preference. Deal with it. We got Scorponok, Tarantulas, Waspinator, Megatron, and Pterosaur. And don't forget we have Black Arachnia. She's here too. This spider mode is spot on to the original character for me. Now, I've gone back and watched a couple of videos of him in bug mode back in the original show. It's not exact to the CG model. There are some differences there. The actual front of the spider is much rounder and much flatter than what we have in the toy. And the mandibles up front are way smaller, like ridiculously smaller in the show compared with the figure. But this is more of a combination of the original CG design and the original toy. That original toy was not very show accurate. In terms of size, the figure itself is very wide with the legs, but it scales well to other deluxe and other Voyager class figures. We've got Override and Skids here. Oh God, I forgot his name for a second. That's awful. Anyway, in terms of height, it's roughly the same length as Override, a little bit longer thanks to the legs. Uh, an issue you just saw is that the gun that is stored in the abdomen of the figure has a tendency to fall off very easily. It, it just does. It doesn't stay on there real well. Transforming the figure from bug mode is pretty simple. And oh, did I mention weapon storage? Yes, it's got his hook thing that really is more of Black Arachnia's weapon than his. Hold on for a second. I just noticed something. Let me check something here. So here's Black Arachnia's gun, and hers is nicely painted. It's got silver or gold on the back and yellow up front, and then Tarantulus's is just black. The harpoon. Oh. Wait a minute. Are th these are almost exactly the same. Almost. I think, yeah, Black Arachnia's is just a bit smaller, and the, well, there's that little bub, bud at the imp bottom of hers, and his, well, you're supposed to be able to do this. Yeah, that that's silly. That's just silly. But I do appreciate that he comes with the buzzsaw gun, which makes me wonder, are we going to get a an official transmetal version of this guy? Huh. I wonder... I wonder, wonder, wonder. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, removing all that, what we can do is then reach underneath and pull up the knees of the figure. Now, the feet actually peg into pegs in the bottom, so pull the knees up and then flip the toes up and we can extend the legs. So do that like so and leave the bug sitting out like that. Reach underneath and unpeg the front of the bug and unpeg the arms and then swing them up like that. And my one arm, right arm, does have a tendency to peg, unpeg, it just goes right back on, unpeg the butt of the figure, and then this whole section will spin around like so. Take the top of the bug head and unpeg it and flip it down, and it will tuck underneath like that, and then the bug butt will come up, or the abdomen will come up and peg in, bring the legs down, and turn the arms around and then position the bug legs so that they don't look weird. The figure we end up with looks absolutely amazing. And everything that I wanted an original Tarantulas figure to look like. The head sculpt is brilliant. I, the paint is amazing. You've got the band going around the top of the head. You've got all of the eyes and then the visor and then the little mouth all painted. It's, it's just perfect. I would have loved there to be some more posability in the bug legs, but I actually kind of appreciate them being one solid piece because then you wouldn't be able to pose it in bug mode. With the with the sections up here of the legs, the top of the legs being one piece or one solid piece, you can pose the legs better. 
It just allows the figure to stand in bug mode. I really like this figure. The paint is excellent. The just overall aesthetic is exactly what I wanted. It's almost like my favorite figure of the year. The only problem I have with it, the only actual problem I have with it is the hips are just a smidge too loose. Nothing I can't fix. Having the two spiders next to each other really gives you an idea of just the difference in mass between the two, and just how delightful it is that both of these characters, or both of these toys, are completely different. Yes, they both transform into spiders, but they both transform completely differently, and just the overall look of the two. I, oh, I, I can't tell you how happy I am that Black Arachnia is not just a repaint of Tarantulas. For some more size comparison, here is Tarantulas with Kingdom Scorponok. Kingdom Waspinator. Previously mentioned Pterosaur. Legacy RC. Legacy Blitzwing. Evil Energon Prime. Legacy Kickback. Evil Car Dudes. And here he is with two Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Tyrannosaurus Rexi? What's the plural on that? Hands down, Tarantulas is one of the best figures we've gotten this year. I absolutely adore this thing to high heaven. It is, it's fantastic. Minor flaws and all. I just, I love this thing so much. Oh, it's so good looking. Its paint is perfect. I, other than the minor hip issue, I, I can't find anything to complain about at all. I'm just so smitten with the damn thing. Unlike Black Arachnia, getting him into bug mode is so much easier. To start off with, just fold the arms straight up so they get out of the way. Take the legs and point them straight forward. Grab the backpack and unpeg it and bring it down over the spider face. Grab the spider face and pull it up and put that over the robot head like so. Grab the legs, turn them around 180. Plug the spider abdomen into the what will or what was the tummy of the robot mode. Now this is kind of cool. Stick the legs up, bend the legs so that the feet or the back of the feet have these little peg holes. They will peg in to those underneath. And they also peg in, or I should say the back of the lower legs peg into the pegs on the thighs. And that's actually a little harder to do than you might think. And the directions specifically say, fold the feet down like that, and then fold the knees or thighs down. And before you do that, peg in the gun. So I'm going to do that on the other side. Line it up. Peg it in. Get that foot in there. Peg the gun in. Get that pushed down as far as you can. And then fold the knee up. And then for the arms, simply pull them off whoopsie fold them in and there is a like a divot right there at the top of the spider legs that'll peg into the peg underneath the spider head so get that lined up and in there and fold that in get that lined up and in there and then turn the arms so that they snap up into place and then take the buzzsaw weapon peg that underneath and we're done I love the fact that the two spiders are completely different. They do have similarities, but they look absolutely completely different in bug mode, and I appreciate that more than I can really describe right now. I absolutely love Tarantulas. It's probably my deluxe of figure of the year. So far, the year's not over. All right, folks, let me know what you think of Tarantulas down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video review. As always, I have been Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.